Well, folks, Jim Jordan. That's right, Jim Jordan. Right now being considered for Speaker of the House of Representatives. No, not Speaker of Barnum and Bailey. Speaker of the House of Representatives, an illustrious body that's supposed to actually, in a democracy, make a lot of decisions about what is good and bad for our lives. This Republican Party is an absolute fucking mess. They ousted McCarthy, who it took 15 votes to get to where he got to. They wouldn't vote for white supremacist Steve Scalise. David Duke was out the baggage. At first, Jim Jordan was a punchline, a joke. And then people said they would support him. Republicans, people who at times in their lives have claimed to be decent, moral, and reasonable human beings. Nancy Mason, our scarlet letter A. Mike Turner, who was, came out in favor of background checks only after his daughter was across the street by mass shooting. These are people that were non-MAGA, whatever that means these days, Republicans. And you thought, okay, Jim Jordan, oh my God, what a joke. He'll maybe get half the caucus, and even that's insane. No, the last 24 hours has seen more and more of these figures coming forward to support this clown. What does it say in the end that he's even an option? So I'm doing this right now before the 12 o'clock vote because it doesn't matter anymore whether he wins or not. The truth of the matter is that they're even considering this fucking clown. Hmm, I don't agree with his Bart killing policy, but I do approve of his Selma killing policy. Well, he framed me for armed robbery, but man, I'm making for that upper class tax cut. Ugh. Jim Jordan has been rated regularly one of the four or three worst legislators. He doesn't legislate. He's Dan Bongino with a house seat. He is somebody who has abused committees he's on. He demanded that Speaker McCarthy, to vote for him, create a weaponization committee. He is still someone who is a major suspect in terms of knowing about what was going on in an enormous scandal at Ohio State University. He was there for 11 years as an assistant wrestling coach. We knew damn well, according to numerous wrestlers there, that wrestlers were being molested by a doctor in the showers. Also a referee and also another coach. And the testimony from some of these guys, they spoke in the state house. I mean, it is it's shocking and horrifying. And since his name has been floated for speaker, they have a number of them have spoken out. Mike Schick, a former wrestler. Quote, is that the kind of character you want for a house speaker? A guy that wouldn't even meet with us? Maybe it is, considering one of their longest serving speakers, I believe the longest of went Denny Hatt, went to prison for molesting wrestlers. This seems to be a theme with them. 15 months, he only served three months, even though the judge called Denny Hastert, quote, a, a serial child molester. Adam D. Sabato, his testimony was powerful as hell. Here's what he had to say. Former wrestler, Jim Jordan called me crying, groveling on the 4th of July, begging me to go against my own brother. His brother had spoken out against Jordan. Begging me, crying for a half hour. He is a coward. He's a coward. That's Jim Jordan, the leadership that he's shown. There's a good chance that the Speaker of the House, just like there's a good chance the guy they nominate for President of the United States will be getting convicted of crimes during that time. There's a good chance that, that the guy, if they make this guy Speaker, will have to fly back to Ohio to testify in cases where... He will have to answer for what he knew about hundreds of wrestlers being molested. That's who you want as speaker. What else about uh, Tim Jordan? He's an insurrectionist. He's a seditionist. He's probably one of the closest to Donald Trump in terms of trying to overthrow our government. So said the House Select Committee we put together, which he and the Republicans tried to put him on and was blocked. And had Liz Cheney and, and Adam Kinzinger, where he said, they said in the end that he played a, quote, significant role in Donald Trump's efforts to overthrow our election. He demanded for his vote for McCarthy that these have this weaponization committee. That's the one where they've chased around Hunter Biden. And maybe it's just because Jim Jordan hasn't seen enough of Hunter Biden's dick pics yet. And he had those shown on the floor more by Marjorie Taylor Greene. He spoke at the Stop the Steal rally that encouraged the insurrection on January 6th and got five police officers killed and numerous people injured and feces speared in the wall in our capital. Guards who were just trying to do their job were stabbed, speared, kicked, gouged. Jim Jordan was involved in that. Michael Flanot has spoken out and made it clear that it would be an abomination to make Jim Jordan speaker. That day, Liz Cheney, when he tried to grab her arm for them to get out of the room as these nuts were storming it, screams him, fuck you, you did this. He endorsed state legislatures refusing the electoral slates and picking their own. 
course, in states where Republicans control state legislatures and urged Donald Trump not to concede. He urged Congress to not accept the electors once they arrived there. He demanded that Congress certify a different group of electors. He also was one of 10 congressmen in private meetings and calls with Trump that planned to try to pressure, pressure Mike Pence to go forward and not certify our election. If that's not a coup and that's not participating in a coup, I'm not sure what is. And granted, Jordan may have the votes. We don't know yet. He may not. Hard to count votes because a few people may be in the showers and Jim Jordan doesn't see people when they're in the showers. It comes back to where we started, the pathetic nature of the Republican Party that they consider this person. This isn't about Republican voters who are radicalized by Fox and are nuts and support someone like Donald Trump. These are the people who are elected. These are the insiders, Republican insiders. Republicans who have turned to say, Donald Trump isn't us. We're not like him. And we're now at a point where we're within 10 to 20 votes of their maybe electing Jim Jordan, a speaker of the House where he'd be one of eight people read into our national security secrets, right? After Hamas attacking Israel recently, after a number of our CIA assets for Trump was president just disappearing, Jim Jordan, we might as well just cut him out, cut out the middle guy, just hand over our national security to Vladimir Putin. Incredible, again, that this party would even consider this guy. A couple profiles in courage, you know, the House Armed Services Chair, Mike Rogers, who was trying to get supposedly those who were defense hawks against allowing Jim Jordan because of national security. Kate. And Wagner, Missouri, who said, hell no, when she was asked if she would support Jim Jordan. Kate. Ken Calvert from a swing district. Vern Buchanan, Drew Ferguson. All profiles in fucking weakness. And the only other thing I can add to this is you see some of these Mike Lawler, Mark Molinaro from New York, and some of these others contemplating it is there's 18 Biden districts out there. There's some part of me that says, go for it, you stupid sons of bitches. Go and put this jackass, this beavis looking character, the guy who looks like Rupert from frickin' Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Where's the cork on the fork? To prevent him hurting himself and others. Uh, excuse me. May I go to the bathroom first? Of course you may. Thank you. Put this guy in a speaker and see what happens. He's never built, as, as John Boehner said about him, besides calling him a legislative terrorist, he said, this man has never built anything. All he does is tear things down. That should be on his gravestone. And he has a great shot at making it because the Republican Party is trapped. They're garbage. And I guess to close this, I'll just quote Anthony DiSabato again about him. Is this the kind of person you want as your speaker? He's a coward. He's a coward. But I doubt about the Republican Party. They're cowards.